Hi, this is George Smith from Bigger, Brighter, Bolder, the Mindset for Success. Through those doors back there, I've got my latest bunch of recruits for success groups. One of the things I'm going to be sharing with them today is how we're playing a lot smaller, the game of life, than we should be, could be, or need to be. And what I want to show them is a really simple metaphor for understanding that what we're doing is we're living in to what we think is possible for us as opposed to truly living in to our innate potential. In other words, we don't actually set the bar for our life on what we could have or what we could achieve or who we could be, but actually that bar is set by our expectations, our expectations that have been put in place from those people around us, from our previous experiences, even from our culture and from the media and everything else. So one of the examples that I use is Bill Gates. So my numbers might be slightly out of date now, but when I checked a little while ago, about a year ago or so, he was worth about $167 billion. So on this chart, what I do is I do a graph and I say, right, we've got homeless at the bottom and then we've got Bill Gates at the top, kind of representing this global scale, if you like, of wealth and income. So in the bottom, we've got homelessness. At the top, we've got $167 billion. And I ask people to map themselves on that graph. Well, of course, on a graph this big, you can possibly even draw a line above homelessness fine enough to show where most of us tend to live our life and operate our life. And that can't be right. Bill Gates is a great businessman. He's got a great business. He's got some great people around him. But is he really that much better than you? So even if you don't consider yourself to be that great at business, maybe he's 100 times better than you. Well, if he was 100 times better than you, you'd still be worth 1.67 billion. So maybe... He's a thousand times better than you. If he was a thousand times better than you, you'd still be a multi, multi, multi millionaire. So the truth of the matter is, Bill Gates couldn't possibly be all these hundreds and thousands and maybe a million times better at business than you or I or other people who are doing okay in business. It doesn't make sense. So of course what's happened is, is we're not playing to a global scale of what's possible, we're playing to a localised, learnt scale of what's possible. In other words, from our own previous experiences, from what's been taught to us, from what we've seen around us for example. So actually one of the things that I do with people right from the beginning when I start looking at goal setting and looking at ambition is to get people to start looking at a global scale and what could they achieve and who could they be and what could they have and what could their business look like on a global scale as opposed to their very personal scale which is actually going to be quite small. So I'm looking forward to sharing that with them. See how you feel about that for yourself. I don't mean to insult people when I show them that they are barely above homeless on this scale. It's just to give you a rescale, if you like, between how we think about ourselves and how we think about what's possible and actually what is out there for us as our potential. This is George Swift from Bigger, Brighter, Bolder, the Mindset for Success. Until next time, be successful.